indubly and congratulatory gestures of his two scientists in the mission control center ji ha chandrayaan ko safalta purvak antakshepit kar diya gaya hai lekin chandrayaan 3 ki yatra abhi jari hai ab is mission ke bare mein hum adhyaksh mahoday se sunenge aur hum aapse aagya lete hain we sign now up next is addressed by secretary dos chairman isro Congratulations India Chandrayaan 3 has started its journey towards moon Our dear LVM3 has already put Chandrayaan 3 craft into the precise orbit around earth 170 by 36500 km was its intended target orbit and it is precisely there now and let us wish all the best for the Chandrayaan 3 craft to make its further orbit racing maneuvers and travel towards moon in the coming days so let me wish all the very best to chandrayaan 3 for its further journey towards moon before that let me introduce the team behind uh, this mission the mission director mr mohan kumar and also the and also the project director of lvm3 and uh, we have also the mission director for the chandrayaan 3 craft the project director of chandrayaan 3 veera muthuvel so over to them mohan thank you sir honorable honorable minister of state for science and technology and departments of space and atomic energy uh, dr jitendra singh respected uh, chairman isro and secretary departments and of space former secretaries of the department invited dignitaries respected uh dignitaries and invitees i am very happy to report here that the lvm3 m4 vehicle has injected the chandrayaan 3 satellite to the uh, precise orbit uh, and once again the vehicle is proved to be the most reliable heavy lift vehicle of indian space research organization congratulations to the team work of isro family uh, i would like to appraise three things here the vehicle systems are in the continuous process of quality improvement especially in the uh, in the uh, event of our human rating efforts towards making the systems reliable secondly the payload also capability of the payload also is improved by mission uh, strategies as well as vehicle engineering approaches we are in the process of increasing the launch uh, frequency of this vehicle considering the national requirements as well as satellite demands here so many uh, improvements we have uh, incorporated in this vehicle for example the s200 nozzle they are processed exactly as per the human rating standards uh, uh, enabling us to have 100% ndt and the inherent pocket erosion characteristics are removed the l100 and stage vikas engine mostly it is uh, 100% qualified to be the human rated engine with the indigenously developed let throats and the pocket uh, the uh, back wall gas entry also is eliminated and it is a perfect uh, system oh, yes, uh, and the c20 c20 stage also is uh, 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 perfectly uh, 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 actually <laughs> good, good. so we will we yeah. will describe all those details later ah, because of shortage of time yes, sir i take this opportunity to thank all the mission executives uh, because <laughs> mission executives for all the support all along the uh, launch campaign process as well as the launch once the launch manifest is uh, released and mission executives are identified really this is a penance of so many across the isro centers 
our launch vehicle centers, VSSC, LPSC, IPRC, IASU, SDSC, SHAR, URSC and SAC, uh, along with all our industrial partners, major players to the, uh, uh, the uh, small scale industries who supply us with uh, all the deliverables in time, quality products, the suppliers of chemicals, propellant ingredients, uh, suppliers of avionic systems and our own GOCO facility operators. Actually, the industrial manpower is really our ISRO's virtual manpower. Uh, everybody's uh, efforts went into this and uh, called the, uh, also the prayers and best wishes of all our seniors, retired executives, every, everyone's prayers and our own family members. I take this opportunity to uh, pray God Almighty for all the blessings in the form of this success which was the penance by the ISRO family for last 73 days. And my prayerful pranams for the successful continuous operations of the Chandrayaan spacecraft for its safe and soft landing on lunar surface and further experiments. Thank you. Jai Hind. Respected Chairman ISRO, Center Directors, Dignitaries and uh, my team Chandrayaan 3, very happy to note that our Chandrayaan-3 has been injected into an intended orbit with very close orbital parameters. Congratulations and thanks to LVM-3 team. And all our spacecraft health parameters are normal, including the power generations in both propulsion module and lander module. Our, our journey to moon has begun now for the most awaited soft landing. We'll be closely monitoring and controlling the spacecraft from Istrak, Bangalore. Uh, many critical events are lined up starting from earthbound maneuvers, insertion into the lunar orbit and separation of lander and set of deboost maneuvers and finally the power descent phase for a soft landing. I take this opportunity to thank Chairman Isro, Director URSC and all the center directors for entrusting me this opportunity who, are behind, who have been the motivational and guidance force uh, behind this mission. My special thanks to Chandrayaan 3 project executives, associate project director Kalpana, deputy project directors, project managers across the ISRO, ISRO centers uh, who, have, who have provided an excellent support in building the spacecraft. My special thanks to the, the expert committees for their constant guidance throughout the various stages of the project. I also thank the, uh, uh, the various uh, work centers and industries who have contributed directly and indirectly to this mission. My special thanks to URSC council members, group directors, deputy directors across the ISRO centers. And uh, this, uh, looking forward for the soft landing with all your wishes and blessings from the God. Thank you. Uh, we have our Honorable Minister for Space, Minister of State for Space, Dr. Jitendra Singh Ji, amongst us during this historic occasion of success of launching of LVM3. So I, we would like to hear a few words from him. Over to you, sir. It is indeed a moment of glory for India and a moment of destiny for all of us over here at Sri Hari Kota who are a part of the history in making. Thank you, Team ISRO, for making India proud. And thank you, Honorable PM Narendra Modi ji, for having made this possible by unlocking the gates of Sri Hari Kota and enabling the India's space sector. You would recall, Honorable Prime Minister had very recently said, Sky is not the limit. And living by his words, I think the Chandrayaan today has gone beyond the limits of sky to discover the unexplored horizons of the universe beyond. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this day today, the 14th of July 2023, is also a day of vindication. Vindication of the dream that Vikram Sarabhai saw six decades ago. He might have been short of resources, but never short of confidence. And when we see those pictures of a launcher vehicle being carried on the carriage of a bicycle, 
without any remorse, without any slightest embarrassment. That is because Vikram and his team had faith in themselves, faith in India's potential, faith in India's acumen. And today, here, we are vindicating and we are reiterating India's indigenous capabilities living up to the ideal of Atma Nirbhar Bharat. And before I conclude, ladies and gentlemen, as Mother India enters into the next 25 years of this Amrit Kal, she pledges to play a leading global role